Welcome combatants, yes, so Ed Boon talks about the next game and it seems that they have been working on the next game or maybe have they not but they know what it is but do like, subscribe with the bell notification, follow me's future for more content. So yes, it seems that Ed Boon was speaking with Comic Book yesterday and talking about Chaos Reigns and everything and they dropped and spoke about the next game which Ed Boon deep dived in about. Now there are some inconsistencies here which Ed Boon clears up in a little bit but we'll go for what was said. I've said this before but we start planning the next game before we're done with the previous game Boon said. There is much prep work, research and planning, it's absolutely not the case that when we finish the game and we go okay what are we going to do next and there's a lot of people who need to be working on something and we've known what our next game was going to be for three years ago and we've been working on it in some camp capacity ever since now right there you can see that it shows that they already know what the next game is whether it's injustice or the next mk game again or the marvel game the rumored marvel game that was supposed to be on their card or even an adventure game that's set in injustice worlds or mortal kombat's world we don't know but you can see that they have in some capacity been working on the game now ed Boone does go to clear this up as he writes this and says love the fact that there is an excitement for our next game and I don't want to be a stickler for words but we we haven't been working on our next game for three years already the actual quote was that we knew what our next game was going to be three years ago so right there you can see that he's cleared that up that they haven't been working on the next game three for three years already like the quote started to say in other quotes they were going around saying it was three years it hasn't been that Instead, it has just been that Ed Boon has been working, that they, they know what the next game's going to be. So, if that is the case, and realistically, they all do still put little concepts and little things on for the next game, like they have a branched idea and they have the branched story, but they just don't know exactly how the gameplay is going to be and all that. So, they're not fully working on it, but they already know and they've already got what they know people need to work on with the game. So, they already have that sorted out. But what game would we possibly want, though, people? As we already know, MK1 has teased many outcomes coming for the future from Onaga, who is now alive and well, and he's there to be freed. That's one storyline. We've also got Shinnok possibly making a return too, as we don't know where he is and Quan Chi in the Nether Realm maybe he's the leader of the nether realm then we also have dagon who appeared at the end of takeda's ending showing that he is fully awake there him and taven are most likely both awake and they're inside the mk1 era alive as he is the leader of the red dragons right now so there's a possibility for all these things to show up for mk2 which shows possibility for another game but when it comes to injustice this is another thing that a lot of people have been waiting for and a lot of people have wanted for a very long time we do obviously know that they wanted to do the black lanterns um darkest night type storyline so that would have had a lot of things to do with other characters like death and all them other ones they would have definitely had a very serious very dark um, dc type story definitely the type of stories that dc is best known for with all the different type of characters and whatnot showing up and other ones being in the game now we do know that it was rumored as well that the character that they were working on they had he-man who was going to be in there and xena as guest characters and other people were going to be as dlc now the one thing that we do know is that Injustice 3 was next originally and Warner Brothers told them no told them to move to MK1 instead make another MK game so that's why they swifted from Injustice 3 to Mortal Kombat 1 otherwise it would have been Injustice which is why you can see certain characters like Rain and stuff they have a staff it's because that was originally Aquaman with his trident and things like that now when you come into Mortal Kombat um, with Injustice 3 I do feel like the next game is definitely that unless it's the rumored Marvel game who can tell we don't know what it could be or it might be a complete no-brainer and they suddenly go hey let's go for Mortal Kombat again but it might not be the popular opinion but I do love Injustice games because I love DC I love Mortal Kombat I love that to pieces but I do love DC games and I love how the Injustice games were handled and how they handled DC characters so me I would be happy with an Injustice and I can't wait for one of those hopefully when number three does return but let me know what you guys think of these guys which ones would you have would you have Injustice back would you want another Mortal Kombat game to continue the storylines that they're teasing but do like subscribe this is your boy future boy in back to future stay frosty peeps peace